day, you're welcome to Guy Talk Podcast, where we give an exciting and entertaining perspective to issues on love life hustle. With me here in the studio are Adelgo or Adugo. Hi. Hello. I prefer to be called Harry. I prefer Harry Freshness. Harry <laughs> Freshness. I will have Victor up on the house. How's it going? Yeah, yeah. What's going on, guys? Good to be back here, guys. So good to be yeah. back here, Victor. What's up with you? Like a lot of good things are happening. So I hear. Yeah. Your articles everywhere. Talking about hip hop. Talking about music. Talking about music. It's all happening for me, man. I'm so grateful. I'm Congratulations. Congratulations. Anyways, today we shall be talking about stuff. Very quickly, we shall be getting to the topic. We shall be talking about the things a lot of African women do that turn their men into monsters. Hmm. Hmm. I know. Ada, you have a problem now, right? No, I don't. You don't? I'm no. just going with the flow. Oh, really? <laughs> I just have to react. Yeah. So, um, great, great. Well, we have a lot of people saying stuff like, okay, we're talking about Nigeria right now, focusing on Nigeria. We're relating to other countries. Many women out there say Nigerian men are mostly cheats. Nigerian men are not romantic. Nigerian men lie. Nigerian men this, Nigerian men that. Even of the South African women putting out stuff on social media that says false things about Nigerian men. Hmm. And it's crazy because Many women, many Nigerian women have one or more of the above complaints about Nigerian men, and truth be told, they have good reasons. You know, the average Nigerian man is unromantic. Take it so they say. It. It's the truth. Take it or leave it. The average Nigerian man lies and cheats, and is many people say is a dog. According to that, is he exclusive to Nigerian men? It's like this African. I'm, I'm, I can't. I can't talk about. Nigerian I'm just man. listening to both of you. Count all your faults, <laughs> and, and okay, I'm waiting. And, 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 do you agree? Do you agree right now? Um, Nigerian men are romantic. Nigerian men are the average Nigerian man. That's the statement. The average Nigerian is man romantic? is romantic in the way he knows how to be. You need to know that these things are actually by upbringing, the way he's been brought up to see love. Which is what we shall talk about okay. now. Yeah. yeah, great. So we shall be talking about the things that African and Nigerian women do that turn these men to monsters. This unromantic weak conceited men like they have described us to okay be, yeah great so um i shall be taking first point um one of the things that i believe a lot of african women do that really upsets a lot of men and makes them just act out and treat them treat women less than they should okay. is they get comfortable when a man is overly romantic and emotional that they, they prefer Define the bad guys. No, okay. It's, I, it's true. I'm talking, I'm talking for myself. Yo. I'm talking for myself. That's the thing. You talk for yourself. This is about See, you. If you, talk, okay, if you okay. talk for it's yourself, babe, you are a very cool girl. I want to be my friends. You are very, very. Look, I've heard girls say that, man, I like my man to boss up. I like my I like a guy that can spank me in the ass when I mess up and yeah. stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, like, basically, I think girls actually do like guys to be bad. I think it's, and that's it's, it's a, a lot of guys. No, 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 wait. It's the same thing we expect you guys expect from us. You want a lady in the street and a freak in the shit. That is no, what women want too. No, like, if would you like want a man to take charge. Look, well, it's it's not in can, every can, can I, let, me, let, me, let me explain this. You, okay. like, like I said, when a man is very romantic, emotional, vulnerable to his woman, many African women take you for granted. They take advantage, take, they take advantage of you. That's why you now say that a woman is not throwing tantrums all because she starts denying her man's sex, or because she wants you to buy something. She starts acting That's all no, because... I'm sorry, that lady was not properly brought up. It's and different. You, you can say, Ada, that is the Why would I not appreciate a man who is bending over backwards for my own pleasure? Ada, you are very, like I said, you, you get sense. Okay, so I, I guess I shouldn't, be, I shouldn't be in this conversation. No, you should be in this conversation. You should be, I, I, need, I, need to I can't answer for everybody. My body, boy should be very objective. Take it or leave it. Have you not met more than one lady that said they rather have a guy that's a bad boy? They rather have friends, only a good guy. Don't we see them on social media every day? Every day. Then you guys are you guys are looking for the wrong girls. Why are you looking for girls on social media? Girls on social media are girls. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are do not have anything the point. To Are you not on social media? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's just move on. Let's okay. answer that question. Okay. okay, the next point here is um, focusing on training the girl to be a good girl and leaving the boy out of the training. Yeah. You get me like society, especially in families, we have people say, girl, you have to be a wife material, yeah. you have to be did 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 Like guys really do not have this upbringing. To, like, you know when they say don't don't hit a woman and stuff like that. Yeah. You grew up not being told not to hit a woman. Take it or leave it. Yeah, it's actually we had true. to let we had to let the universe teach us or society teach us that yeah. it's, it's now bad wrong. to hit yeah. a woman. And that might even be when you are probably done like maybe once or twice. Or twice. Yeah. Like, and it's crazy because I don't know, like right from many many um many African homes they tend to give the male child free reign. 
you get the focus on letting the girl she has to come back home early she has to cook she has she has to but if, if, especially if the guy has his has sisters he does what he likes and, and they expect this guy to grow up to be a loving husband respectful and, and it's not possible oh finally you agree with me no i agree to that one you no, because, no, you know why? <laughs> because we are blaming men this no time. no no this actually is the fault of the women we okay. are the ones who keep the home we're the ones who exactly. train our children and that's because the women were brought up this way this, yes we neglect making our men good men okay okay so moving on now entitled mentality the moment you mention love you owe them money this is very true yeah i agree a lot of women are made or we are trained to see our sexuality as something that is very important and should only be given out when you are receiving something yes to be given out to only when you're receiving something in cash mostly mm-hmm. not just in kind yeah them. that's why you see ladies are willing to have sex with their bosses they're willing to cheat on their husband for better job you know uh, um uh, better job opportunities, opportunities yeah. and stuff so it actually is true yeah. so these also make men when a man finds out that his emotion- wife yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Especially she's, he's emotionally attached to a woman oh, and he finds out that the woman is actually giving up her bias giving up her goods to the highest bidder it's yeah. a problem and this yeah. is one reason why we have domestic it? violence because take to leave it uh, we have a slay culture right now you get mm. many girls are in relationships with men that beat them up Oh, because they might give them enough money for them to slay on social media. That's actually peer pressure. That's peer pressure. pressure. A lot of people, people get pressure. Yes. I wish I took shout out, especially that more better on this yes. and other and everything. But truth is, this a lot of women out there they use money as the measure of what a man is. A good man like, should you know, be. You get, and it's a freaking That's very big wrong. problem. You get very wrong. Wrong. and it all boils down to training and all that stuff. And it's 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 really crazy, man. Um, so one of one other thing that a lot of women do out there that uh, makes men go crazy. Turns men to monsters and makes men absolutely misbehave. Someone said something one day when we were talking about a social media issue. Like a guy providing for a girl, then the girl cheats on him and stuff like that, and he's upset. And she was like, she was like, because he didn't give her time, because he didn't give her his attention. Many women out there, they cheat on men because these men are too busy trying to provide. I'm sorry I have to cut you short here. Yes, I'm listening. There is something called love languages. Yeah. yeah. Now, if a woman likes quality time and you don't have that time for her, of course, if someone else comes in the picture and giving if her something, if a man has no you money, know, and that's it, you're making a no, speech no, for women. No, no, if, no. A woman, if a woman has needs and the guy has no money, that love language also comes into play. And you know, say, yeah. So what? How do we balance? How do we balance being able to provide financial? Um, provision and being able to provide time. You get it. Especially like, when being a, when when in the bid to provide money, mm-hmm. time is being lost. I, I know, I know. Like I work? said, it's it's like walking on a tightrope. You are never going to get it right. So at what point? So at what point? At what point? At what point? You keep wobbling till you get to the end. At what point is a woman nice. supposed to compromise or sacrifice in the relationship if a man is doing everything to? To make sure See, that I, 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 I even had this issue. I even had this issue with my own girlfriend and stuff like that. I was always busy. Before I used to have time, I had a job when I could stay at home and we would be together all week, talking, spending time. But I now go to another job because I'm working two jobs where I always have to go to work and complain that started coming out because hey, you don't have my time anymore. But point is, I was trying to provide. You get mm. now the truth is this: uh, in as much as there's love language, there's what should be done. You are in this relationship, you have to adapt. A lot of women out there say that this man does, this man doesn't give my time, that's why I'm cheating on him. If you feel that you cannot that's a wrong reason. If you feel that you cannot cope with the relationship, like, it's, it's a very common reason. Very common reason. Yeah. A lot of Africa, and because and men now say that, okay, fine. Since a woman is doing this, I would just lie to them, hit and run. And that's one of the reasons why many men out there treat women anyhow. Because mm-hmm. that relationship where you saw that guy, um, um, drive the girl or leave the girl because he provided everything for her and she still cheated on him. And I would you say that girl did right for cheating on him? I'm sorry, come again. There was a relationship on social media that was training some months ago when yeah. he, when the guy provided the house for huh? the girl and all that stuff was giving her allowance and everything. And but she it was cheated. too busy. Yeah, it was but it was very very busy of yeah. course and all that stuff. Like I, I, said, I need to say this, I, I there I are do... different maturity levels for human beings. So, but in the context if, as a of... man, your maturity level is more than your woman's own. You will always have a problem with her. If you're with a mature girl who is busy, she has a job, she knows what she's doing, she hardly has time to cheat. And These now, things are logical. And now, now this, let me just explain this for the benefit of those who are, are listening. Okay. Yeah. This is how men, men show love. Or rather, let me start from women. Women show love by being available. They give you time. They, they try to meet up. Are that true or false? And I'm asking you now. I don't that's, that's not And right. if you love the guy, would you always make out time for this guy? Answer the question. 
I'm sorry, I can't say that question. If you <laughs> love a guy, no, true, women. Like, oh, I read some something on medium. Like women show sure, love by being available, yeah, being yeah, able yeah. to attention, giving no attention. Yeah, like, yeah, no, they, point, women yeah. mother you when they love you. This is how men show love. Men provide. Yeah, yeah. Now to provide, you have to step out. We are hunters by default. Yes. There's no man that will get comfortable in when, he's, unable to when he's not able to provide. Yeah, and yeah. a man, considering societal levels and everything, you cannot make the money for a woman to sleep by by working nine to five. You always have to be on the hustle. Yes. You get. Love women out there now makes the excuse that yeah, it's not available, that's why I cheated on him. But you know, that I'm sorry, that's, that's why you have date nights. That's why you guys take vacations. That is a way to be available for your woman. What if you call what her you in or you send her a text, you don't have to leave your hostel to send your woman a text. But my to let her know you're thinking of her. These are things that men also do that they fall short in. That makes women vulnerable to other things outside. You have to make sure that so you're blocking all the rules. So this is the part where women get vulnerable because men. Get yes, vulnerable. women get vulnerable because there's a space they need to. But do, do, but do you think now? Would you blame a guy for acting out because a woman cheated on him because he was busy providing for her? Would you blame the woman? Or would you blame the man? I, I can't answer that question. I'm not. I'm, I think, I'm, I'm not a relationship therapist. Yeah, yeah. I think that that question the answer is subjective. Yes, it depends is. on who is in the situation. It but do you think it's yes. enough to turn a man into a monster? Of no. course, it is. Depends on the situation. Like, like yes, said. everybody reacts differently. Yes, yeah, you know, the opposite of going hot water and come out soft. You get it. So go and come out hard. Yeah, yeah. So, so it depends on the person. It depends on the person, person by person. But the question is, would you chase your girl? If you're working so hard to provide and unable to provide time, and then she goes out to cheat on you. Would I would. Would you end would you, the relationship? Would you end the relationship? Would you cheat? If you cheat on me because you're going out to hustle, I'm going out to hustle and, and she yeah. cheats on me. Yeah. I'll, I'll end that shit. Hmm. I will. Uh, would you, Victor? I will. Do you know why I will? Because of this. I'm going out to hustle. You're the main motivation behind my hustle. Hmm. If I'm going out to provide for you, you have no right. Are that you serious? Look at me, see, you have no right to cheat on me. This is what you're doing. No, you will tell me. You will tell me that I this think. is what's up. You know, before we started this recording, you, yeah. you asked me what would I do if a girl cheats on me. Yeah. I that's said, I said, I said, like there's like a reason for everybody's action. Mm-hmm. If it is a reason that we can sit and have a conversation about, and I'm, I'm looking, at, I'm doing my giveaways and my give, and I'm saying, okay, what I'm, I'm going to lose if I lose you okay. is is like. I can actually avoid losing you and still keep this in because these things are very important like yes. companionship I've gotten to know each other at a certain level and I don't want us to lose that You get me? So if it's something we can have a conversation about and still make things work It will definitely make things work But I can't really just say get the fuck out of my life just because you were cheating on me one time The only reason I would drive out of my life is because I don't love you If you cheat on me and I still love you, I would try to forgive you But the truth is this if in the process of me trying to do something for you, express my good intention You cheat on me, to me that's betrayal Take it or leave it. Now or later, I I'm sorry. This, this is this is a conversation I'd like to have, but not now. Okay, so. okay. Oh, um, I, I just want to revisit the topic of um, using money as a standard to judge the quality yeah. of the man. Ada, um, how would you say? How would you um? How like would you explain how this affects the way men treat women in Africa? Do you think it's a thing that needs to be addressed? I think it's actually wrong for anybody in any sphere of life <laughs> to judge a person by the amount of money they make. Now, if you make 10,000 Naira and in a month you need 20,000 Naira, of course, why won't I as a woman go out there and meet you halfway? That is how I feel. So if a woman says, oh, he's not making enough for me, he's not doing this, I normally ask her, what are you doing to contribute financially to the relationship? Mm. I don't, I'm not one of them, but it seems to be happening a lot. And the reason why it happens is because, probably because of the society and the way things are happening, there's hardly enough to go around. Okay. I understand. But if you're pulling in your little weight and you know this is not enough, why don't you cut back on some things? Okay. So I'm faulting women on this one. Okay, yeah, you yeah. must not bow to every kind of pressure. You must not follow I, I, every kind I, I, of pressure. I, 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 pres- I personally feel that, um, personally feel that, we're going to talk about it on another episode, I personally feel that the amount of pressure you feel is the amount of pressure you allow yourself to feel. To feel. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that's very true because I, I'd open my phone and go through social media and I see girls who are Slaying. slaying and it doesn't bother me because i don't need to slay this one is i'm on my lane. own lane yeah, that's yeah. how i feel now a lot of girls because of the whole oh my god my girls slaying. are slaying my girls are doing this if your man cannot provide for you to slay sweetheart step away from that circle Squared up, straight up. I think that's how i feel I but it does it does it, for you to no, slay. but the truth is that it does affect our men negatively because like you said men are hunters and if they feel they're not providing enough for you it's a problem for them. And you know, it's, 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 it's not be like to the point where a guy now goes to hustle so he can ill treat women. 
a guy has money and you know what and he also enslaves the ladies but the yeah. truth is that most men that have so much money mm-hmm. let's be sincere when they have so much check him he's either shady to other women yeah. means he has multiple women he's providing for. that is what i'm saying yeah. or he doesn't have enough he's using yeah. what he has and to look good enough for the women I, I, I think the premise of everything we've talked about is the accumulation, accumulation of all these things we talked about that make these men become monsters yeah the first thing we talked about is um Okay, let's just like direct you to this particular point. Mm-hmm. Focusing on training the girl to be a good wife and neglect to teach the boy to be a good husband and father. I think his training affects. There's this guy, what do you call it? Ola Kunle, who turned to be case for my husband and everything. Yeah. There's a lot of Churchy. stories. Church, there's a lot of stories about the guy and all that stuff. And they say why I was sleeping with, with his PA or whatever and all that. It kind of brings to mind this whole thing that turned to be case she was um, abused domestically and stuff like that. Yeah. It's all these things that lead to the point where. A guy now has money and start treating a woman anyhow because this is not the motivation. Let me make money so I can choose a girl I want. And when you can choose a girl you want, based on how much you based have. on how much you have, you can you treat the girl because right now she's no longer a girl, she's a commodity. Girl, but, right but you know that's not really our fault as women. That comes from your perception of men. Uh, uh, no, your perception of as men of women. It's Derek, not actually not our fault. Do you know Think about that? It. Do you know that? I hate to get into people's shit. Yes. But do you? I, I don't know who's gonna watch this or see this. But do you know that from inception, Tonto mm-hmm. Dicky and Church's relationship were built on material things? That is the problem. That was when, the foundation of their relationship. Do you get me? And because that's how it we, went. Were, we were hearing Mr. X bought me a new iPhone. Mr. X. Thank you. What the fuck? So all Thank we knew you. was Mr. X was a rich guy, even if we didn't know who he was. Okay, and, and I'd like to use um, maybe maybe Tiwa Savage's relationship. Tiwa Savage and her husband they actually started from a place where they hustled together. And no matter how bad their relationship seemed to be on social media, they found a way to walk around it. Do you get a lot me? of girls that the foundation of yes, the relationship. Was, was not, was not the success of so I'm, I'm putting it beside Tonto Dike's situation now. Tonto Dike was a big girl when she got married. Yes, we agree. But her, her, the foundation of her relationship with her now ex-husband was very material. That is why it went like that. Tima Savage might have come from the UK. She might have been, you know, she had a background in music and she was a kind of celebrity at some point. Yeah. But she was able to build something with her husband. No, not based on it wasn't stuff. based on material things. No, and like, these girls are both celebrities. Yeah. Look at Messi Johnson, same thing. So sometimes the man's perception of women does play a bad does and guess what bit, guess what guess what abuse his perception of women? Mm. The woman who raised him. Sorry to say. I'm and very say. sorry. Our mothers actually did come short in raising our men. Bam, guess I agree. Ladies and that gentlemen, that's that, that, that was about. the first about. We don't <laughs> agree. agree. So we shall we let just go about point again. One, some of the things that turn men into monsters, which our women contribute a lot to is one, getting comfortable when a man is overly romantic and emotional. Then they prefer to chase after the bad guys. Focusing on training the girl to be a good wife while neglecting to teach the boy to be a good husband. Um, thirdly, the entitled mentality. Very moment to tell a girl that you love her, you owe her money. Fourthly, cheating on a man because he's too busy trying to provide. Okay, and the fifth point that women, you know, may love women try to use to turn men into monsters is um, using money as a standard to judge the quality of a man. Ladies and gentlemen, tell us what you think in the comment section. Do not forget. <laughs>